Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have NVIDIA RTX 4070 Ti has been dominating in the weekly GPU sale at German retailer winning literally against the RX 7000 and R combined. Intel Arc GPU with 16 XE cores has been appeared on CompuBench. A never released AMD Radeon Pro prototype with full Vega 20 GPU got spotted. Noctua has launched their low profile CPU coolers for the AMD Ryzen 7000 CPUs. And lastly, we have AMD Ryzen 7000 X 3D series now has been listed for unlocked for overclocking. So first up, we have Tech Epipani. That's, I don't know that that is that way you spell that. But yeah, basically, that's the graphics card retail sales week three. And according to him, basically, AMD units have been sold 16,000 or 1,665. And video units have been sold higher, which is 2,255 and Intel only 20. So, yeah, basically, tw Intel is completely down pretty bad. But, if you look into the listing of which GPU got sold more, RTX 4070 Ti is winning the chart here. 545 GPUs have been sold, and then comes the RTX 3060, which is 485. And then we have the 6700 XT 410. RTX 3060 Ti is also selling 305. And 7900 XTX got 300 units. 6600 got 280. So basically, the, the uh, numbers goes down. The 7900 XT has been sold only 200, and 49 is also pretty down, 210. RTX 4280 doesn't surprise me, 190 makes sense. And overall, all of them are pretty down. And as you can see, the Intel ARC A770 got sold only 10 units. Same for the A380, only 10 units. So. We can clearly see RTX 4070 Ti is winning the chart. It seems like the pricing was appealing after all, so yeah, not bad. Nvidia just won the, I guess, the revenue in this one. Next up, we have CompuBench has been uh, listed this Intel XE graphics here, which again, not really exciting, but it's kind of interesting because if you look into it, the max compute units, if you look into it, it's only it's only 256, which translates into 16 XE cores. But in their whole Intel Arc lineup, we don't have any, well, any 16 XE core GPU. It, it's A380 with 8 cores, XE cores, A580 coming at, well, 24 XE cores, and then there's A750 and A770, which coming at 28 and 32 XE cores, respectively. So there's literally no lineup uh, for the X16 XE core GPU here, which has been already listed here. Uh, updated as the CompuBench 2.0 information here so interesting that they are preparing another GPU here again it's going to be a lower tier GPU but better than the A380 I believe next up we have an interesting story we ha we have this well uh Twitter user needs more GPU listed this which is the unreleased Radeon Pro engineering sample if you're looking at here and which is which has the fully enabled 1400 for uh, 4960 shaders 32 gigs of hbm2 memory which again has the seven nanometer nanometer nodes that's the vega 20 and that was supposed to be released on 2018 but it is nowhere to be found because it was never released and that's the engineering sample you're looking at here well this gpu looks nice not gonna lie it has rgb and that's the pcb you're looking at which is again an interesting one because there's a PCB that extends upwards right here and there's one more right here so a very unique design if you look look into it I don't know what this is about like I understand it's a PCIe 16x lane but what is that I have no clue is it some kind some sort of like link uh, maybe maybe possibly because it's a Radeon Pro engineering sample right so there is probably a link and this is the, well, the scores here for the benchmark. If you look into it, let me just zoom in. Well, the in, in 3D Mark 11, it got graphics score of 8,868 and a physics score of 14,159 and overall got uh, 11,126. So yeah, the this GPU got never released. And this is a confirmation here, right here, if you look into it. The AMD Radeon Pro 7, 17,000 megahertz, 4... 1096 cores, 64 CUs, and well, the driver uh, variant here. So, yeah, basically, uh, this never got released, and I guess it will never. Next up, we have a 
uh, Amazon listing here for the Noctua NHL-L9A AM5, uh, for the AM5 platform, of course, which is a low-profile CPU cooler, which, again, they always do that for Noctua, and now for the AM AM5 platform, you can get this. You can also get this one here, which I do prefer this one, because it's a black variant, would really look good for the builds, black builds, or any kind of build. Noctua L NHL9A AM5 Chromax Black, which again, looks very slick. Currently is unavailable, but we do have the price listed here. And if we look into it, this is a video cards article here. And if we look into the pricing, this is the suggested retail price for the NHL 9 AM5, which again, comes with 49.9 euros and 44.9 USD. And the uh, Chromex Black variant, you can get it for 59.9 euros and USD 54.9. So... Not bad pricing, I have to say. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. So, yeah, it's not overly expensive and good goes good for the, or goes well for the low tier budget friendly bills, I guess. So, yeah. And lastly, we have HXL just posted this, which is the AMD Ryzen 7 uh, 97950X 3D. And if you look into it, there's a new section here unlocked for overclocking, which says yes. So, the X3D variants will be overclockable, it seems like. Which, again, they always do that, but I don't know why they're saying it. Like, especially that they're unlocked for overclock overclocking. Strange that they're saying this. Because usually AMD uh, GPU, uh, C CPUs are... All of them are overclockable. As long as you have a better VRAM for the motherboard, you know. Uh, we also have the 7800X3D. Again, it says the same thing. Unlocked for overclocking. So... That's really interesting. They're uh, specifying it. Maybe they can overclock pretty well. I I don't know. That's why they're you know specifying it. Otherwise, why would this do you know specify anyway? But I guess this is uh, that's normal for the AMD CPUs and well the Ryzen 970. Well the X3D 7000 X3D CPUs will be overclockable for sure. Hopefully they will be good. Hopefully. Alright, that is it for today. What do you think about the RTX 4070 Ti? I do think that the pricing of that is okay. And, well, the listing kind of tells you that it's selling well. So, is it worth it? Maybe. You tell me. And, of course, the Ryzen 7000 X 3D. How much overclock overclockable will they be? I wonder. So, let's wait and see. Until then, have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.